Good morning, Mike Sorg. A good morning podcast at Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitter if you want to converse with me. Um, this week, well, first of all, hey, I want to give a shout out. Check out cordkillers.com. This week's episode uh, has our own co host for the Rambling Movie Minute, that re- ramblingreview.com, Malingo Akposambe, my former co worker and forever creative confidant uh, in a fashion. Uh, but no, check that out. I think you did a real good job. I'm about uh, uh, two thirds through that episode right now, and uh, I thought he represented greatly on that thing. Really cool to see him getting out there. But last night I attended Steel Town Indie uh, Kickoff Program. Um, this was uh, passed to me by my, uh, my, my, my friend Chris Whitlatch, who I've been uh, working with a lot of stuff over the years with Pittsburgh Foundation, including Unsung. Um, and we have other ideas that we want to get out there. And I wanted to see what this was about. So uh, this was uh, basically um, um, the kickoff of a new kind of grant not competition, you know, there's submissions and stuff, um, but they're looking for narrative content. We're talking web series. We're talking about short film. Uh, I think there might be a feature film component to this. We're talking about pilots for television series, um, all kinds of things. Um, and, and it's a, uh, it, it's a pretty interesting program. And they've done stuff in the past. We talked about on unsung before um, a lot of their steel town, uh, I don't know. I don't want to call them contests, but they're, 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 uh, grants and they're they're pushing uh, you know and, and it's really interesting to see I, I feel like as a video producer obviously i'm doing stuff like this here in my uh, as i call it my 50 dollars studio uh for podcasting and youtube uh and plus the, the the video screen that we're doing uh you know stuff that we're doing with the uh valentine's day yik yak that just posted if you're if you want to check that out over at sorgatronmedia.com um you know having fun with that doing creative stuff but i've never really been uh into I guess the film industry, right? Uh, I've run into a couple people that actors. I, I, I've I've uh, done some work helping out with the baristas uh, back in the day, um, and uh, but but really kind of fell out of that whole circle, that creative circle happening here in town. And maybe that's for the best. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm going my own direction. That's not oh, what's everybody else doing, you know? But it is interesting to see what's going on. And even last night, um, talking with a, a few people about projects going around uh, in the city was pretty fantastic. Um, if I remember uh, one of them, I mean, one of these was was a stage show that's happening at the uh, Arcade Comedy Theater. Uh, you can go check out uh, nonameplayers.org. I had to pull out the business card to double check what that was. Um, but they're doing, um, they're doing a presentation that is basically a sitcom, which is funny because I've been talking with somebody about a sitcom, sitcom concept. Not mine. I'm, I'm trying to help I, my, in my little way uh, flesh out the ideas, I guess. Uh, but y- if you're in a Pittsburgh area, and I, rec- I definitely recommend just from the sound of it, they're doing a, basically a live stage sitcom. They're filming it. Um, and I'd love to see where it goes. They did episode one, or they're doing episode two here at the end of February. It's called The Sisters Sorella, which apparently is Italian for sisters. Um, so it's a lot of fun uh, to see what's happening there. Um, I even like, you know, their tag on here for no name players is a fear boundaries li- limit. You know, uh, I mean, it's it. Oh, no fear, no boundaries, no limit. You know, I mean, they're they're doing stuff. They're they're thinking outside the box, and even hanging with some of the people. Like, it, there's supposed to be a connect event after. I talked to a couple of people, but then I, we kind of rolled with uh, uh, some of the people I've been working with through the bar, and really kind of uh, uh, really let the conversation and creativity kind of flow last night. Um, it would must have sounded ridiculous to that poor bar guy. Um, by the way, side note, and I said this on Twitter, uh, respect the Silkies for uh, putting on Monday Night Raw when I just kind of passingly mentioned it to the guys that it was on and uh, I was checking out with the guys back home. <laughs> so respect for Silkies over on Liberty Avenue uh, for, for hooking that up and the bartender there last night. Um, but anyways, no, I think it's a really cool program. Um, and, and and I got to co- talk to a, a couple cool people there that are making stuff. I learned about the uh, CMU Screenwriters program going on. Um, I mean, this is stuff like that's, you know, to a point beyond me, you know, I, I know, you know, I, I, you know, look at how much have I done in narrative, right? Uh, we're talking like, you know, the baristas, uh, we're talking about the little bits that we've done. Um, I did some editing for a, uh, a, uh, a nonprofit, uh, a, a zombie movie, uh, a few years ago. Right. Um, but aside from that, I mean, let me look at most of my stuff. It's interviews and, and, and freeform style stuff like this, you know, um, and pro wrestling. I guess pro wrestling is uh, is a narrative. Now that I think about it, I mean, I film it 
when I think about it, I film it like a sporting event. Because, well, for one, you know, I'm not oftentimes let in on some of the stuff that's going to happen. I mean, I get I get stuff like, you know, hey, this guy's going to win. Not that that really helps me to the point, except for kind of trying to look for a finish. Um, sorry, kayfabe's dead. Triple H said it last week. Um, and, uh, and, and other big stuff like, hey, uh, lights are going to go off. You need to do this with a video screen because we have that for one of the shows we do in Elizabeth with IWC. Uh, IWCWrestling.com, RWALive.com are the guys that I work with. Uh, and big shout out to Vicious Outcast Wrestling. Enjoyed their show. I'm, I'm going to talk about more on the Indie Mayhem show uh, from this past weekend. But um, And uh, again, I'm doing this thing over there. And also really interesting because I, I have some ideas on, oh, what can I do with the wrestlers? You know, I mean, a lot of the guys I know, or I know a few guys that worked on the uh, uh, recently done um, um, pro wrestlers versus zombies, for instance. And I think more and more about it. Zach Gowan, who we did that documentary with, he's doing stunt work, you know. Um, what can we do, you know, with that? You know, maybe flesh out some of those characters, you know, uh, or, or do something else with that, you know, and 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 that those ideas are kind of flourishing with me now. Um, I said at the beginning of the year I want to do just a couple of interpret interpretations for my goal here uh, was that I want to do so much stuff and so much good stuff that I can't be ignored, um, and all these going on. Um, good, I know, is negligible, but uh, you know, but but I'm doing. I'm doing, and we're going to find the good in that. And I think uh, over over the course of the year, you know, we're doing great stuff with uh, Katie and Will. You know, the the, the green screen yik yak stuff we've been doing. I think I've been very well well received. You know, um, having trouble getting out there, but but very well received from from uh, those that are are checking them out. And we got another concept. We actually got another two concepts in the works with Will um, that I'm really excited to try to get out there. But. Um, but generally, last night I'm sitting there, and uh, and really just uh, appreciating, you know, you know. Some people say, you know, why why do you want to stay in Pittsburgh? Why don't you go here or there, you know, and and you know maybe you'll have a better time. But having the access to the creatives the way we do here, you know, I mean, I, I I've had a rash of uh, we talked about Friday attending the. Um, Indiegogo and the uh, Refresh Pittsburgh events and, and how many ideas came out of that, which really reminds me as well. And this is a side note, whatever you're into, um, and this may be hard for some people that maybe aren't in a Pittsburgh or in somewhere else, but you need to find some sort of outlet, you know, uh, you need to find some sort of place where people are are in a space talking about it. you can only do so much online, you know, uh, you can do a lot online, don't get me wrong. Um, but, man, I should just do a whole nother show on that because there's a big connection between getting out, meeting people, and connecting at events like last night and uh, connecting with people digitally like like our friend Malengo did with Core Killers this week. You know, I mean, that is a big exposure thing for him, you know, um, and I, and hopefully helps that show kind of uh, take off. It's been kind of floundering a little bit, you know, trying to figure out its direction and voice, I thought. Um, but now, hey, you're going to have eyeballs on it, so you're going to get a lot of response to that, I think. But, um, but um but generally, um, um, you know, again, kind of bringing it back to uh, the Steel Town event, uh, you know, for those curious what that's going to be, uh, they have about, I think it was like $150,000 they're going to, or maybe $100,000 they're going to grant out um, and uh, in, in various aspects. And um, I think it's going to be uh, very interesting um, to see what comes out of that. They're also, they have connections with Hollywood through them. Um, I don't understand the scope of, of these connections or anything. Um, but, but they seem to backed up the, you know, from some people I've talked to. Um, and, and that's the big thing. Like, it's not like we're going to fund an art film. Yay. Now what? Um, it's like, we're going to film this short film that hopefully you can shop around now through our con connections, um, and actually get made into a feature film, or you can do this web series or pilot and shop it around and maybe get turned into an ongoing pilot. That's hopefully shot here in Pittsburgh. You know, um, they're trying to make a sustainable film industry in pittsburgh which i think is very important i mean we're seeing so many people come here but what can we build ground up here and that's that mentality we're already seeing it with our uh startups with our alpha labs with our cmus with our companies coming and going um what is next you know so anyways let me know what you think filmmaking in pittsburgh are you involved in it creative creativity in pittsburgh it's out there man this this I'm just touching the 
the tip of what goes on in theater here and uh and uh I, I wish i had more time and discovery on that to be honest let's know what you think about oh geez question of the day is there anything if you're a pittsburgher or wherever you are actually is there any surprising creative outlets that you're finding be it somebody doing something cool at the theater be it doing something artistically somebody put a mural up in your town that isn't of a creepy lady like that one on that one in south side really really creepy scares me eyebrows are not right dude um anyways uh let me know sorgatron.com on this video on youtube for good morning with michael sorg that's me at sorgatron on twitter as well until next time have a good morning and we'll see you live podcast day tuesday night live.sorgatronmedia.com all night long this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.